we have method of uh, electric uh, heating basically it is produced due to calculation uh, sorry due to circulation of current to a resistance the current may be directly due to the application of potential difference or may be due to the induced eddy currents similarly magnetic uh, materials hysteresis loss uh, is used to create it in the <laughs> electric heating molecular friction <coughs> is employed for it in the substance and arc established uh, between an electrode and the material to be heated uh, can be made a uh, source of uh, heat electric heating can be broadly classified into power frequency heating and high frequency heating power frequency heating can also be classified as uh, uh, resistant heating, arc heating and resistance heating can be classified into direct resistant heating, indirect uh, resistant heating, infrared or radiant heating. Similarly, arc heating can be further classified as direct arc heating, indirect arc heating. High frequency heating can be classified into induction heating and dielectric heating. Induction heating can be classified as direct and indirect induction and may different method of uh, producing it for industrial purpose may be classified as as I tell uh, electric heating classified into low frequency heating and high frequency heating. Low frequency heating are uh, types are resistant heating and arc heating in uh, resistant heating um, this type are direct uh, direct resistant heating indirect resistant heating uh, and there is uh, another one uh, here but it is not given <laughs> here that is infrared uh, radiant uh, heating arc heating is uh, divided as direct arc heating and direct arc heating similarly in high frequency heating induction heating dielectric heating and infrared uh, heating and induction heating also classified as uh, direct and indirect induction heating and moving forward resistant heating resistant heating is based on i square r effect and direct resistant heating types of resistant heating and in this uh, method what we do is uh, material or charge to be heated is taken is resistant it, uh, and uh, current is passed through it and the charge may be in the form of powder or pieces or a liquid and two electrodes are immersed in a charge and <coughs> connected uh, to a supply in case of DC or single phase supply three phase electrodes are uh, in the charge and uh, three electrodes look here okay three electrodes are immersed in the charge and connected to the supply in case, in case of three phase AC supply imagine when <coughs> Some pieces of metal are to be heated, then some <coughs> resist <coughs> powder uh, some resist powder uh, is sprinkled over the surface of pieces to avoid the uh, direct source of the PC white white tree. Well, when if you have opened the heater at home and that is uh, to prevent short circuit and the current flows through the charge and heat is produced and this method has high <coughs> efficiency since it is produced in the charge itself is the current in the case is not uh, easily variable therefore automatic temperature control is not possible in direct uh, heating uh, however automatic temperature con uh, this how can be obtained uh, and this method of heating is uh, used in salt bath furnaces right salt act as a 
हर चार्जेस इन साल बाद हमेशा जानी तो डॉक्टर बोला फरीद मार गॉड सूज सो जानी और इज आवर चार्ज एंड एंड हियर इज डॉक्टर और एंड इट इज आवर डायरेक्ट इलेक्ट्रिक हीटिंग इन डायरेक्ट इलेक्ट्रिक हीटिंग आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन आई स्क्वायर आर एंड it uh, we have a uh, it is transferred by conduction to the resistor must be in contact with charge and electrode rod enclosure is heating chamber is required for it transfer by radiation and convection for the charge for industrial purpose where a large amount of charge is to be heated then heating element is kept in the cylinder surrounded by jacket Look here. When a large amount of okay, charge is to be heated, uh, it should be the heating element is kept in the with the jacket containing the charge and the figure B. Uh, where is figure B and figure B shows okay. We we heat the uh, charge by resistance. Okay, okay, and. <coughs> तो क्या नर्वे दिस मेथड इज यूज इन रूम हीटर इमर्सन वाटर हीटर एंड इन ओके रूम हीटर दिस मेथड इज एंड रेसिस्टेंट ओवन इंक्लूड इन डोमेस्टिक एंड कमर्शियल कुकिंग एंड साल्ट बात आए एंड रिक्वायरमेंट अब व्हाट शुड वी Notice for a good heating element, it should have a specific resistance, and the small length of wire may be required to produce given amount of heat. It should have high melting temperature. It should not oxidize at the temperature of the furnace. Otherwise, you will require frequent replacement of element. It should have low temperature coefficient of resistance so that it is starting from cold. It should not take. Uh, big current. Why we should have low temperature current again? Temperature coefficient and it should be it should have positive temperature coefficient. Of. What does it mean? When people confuse, we should have low temperature coefficient of resistance so that starting from cold it should not take a big current. This point you should remove okay. Positive temperature coefficient of resistance should have high ductility and flexibility. I mean, chemical strength of his own. Now we read about resistance components or oven. Talking about it, it is uh, resistance components. So <laughs> chamber with ventilation, which is used for different purposes. For example, heat treatment of metal like annealing, stirring of enamel. Wash, drying up, breaking, and pottery, vulcanizing, and ironing. Synthetic materials temperature up to thousand degrees Celsius can be obtained by using heating elements made up of nickel, chromium, and iron. Isn't it? Oven using heating element made up of graphite. Okay, temperature up to th can be by thousand degrees centigrade uh, can be obtained using nickel, chromium, iron. If it exceed uh, more than thousand, that is three thousand, then up to three thousand we use graphite for heating element. And oven are usually made of metal framework having an internal leaving of fire bricks. It have internal leaving of fire bricks, and the heating element may be located on the top, bottom, or side of the oven. And the maximum temperature required in the oven. Determine the insulating material, right? And this is a diagram of resistance furnace. Here, outside is <laughs> material. This refractory material, and here is uh, opening for conducting. This is the opening. This is the door. Okay, right. All right. Okay. Temperature control of resistance furnace. Different method. 
of temperature control are intermittent switching by changing the number of heating elements, variation of circuit configuration, change of applied voltage, multi tap step down transformer control, automatic transformer control, series reactor voltage, and design of heating element. We have to remember this formula and you know b square upon r is uh, p and by using this uh, we can do okay nothing nothing difficult we can do and up to here today up to here we will continue thank you